Thank you. Get, get up, move quickly, or do what you want quickly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is how quick you see. Yeah, I got a But but do you see what? Actually, look at that. that. This one is the, mm, the yeah. best one. I mean, for myself. Yeah. yeah. So you take the photo and give the impression. And the rest of the time, we don't have to be so clear from from our interior. We're dancing for them. So so that yeah. So that that's how. That's why it's easier and cheaper. But I I thought you said the performer who's moving is taking. Well, I'm taking pictures of you two, because it's you three, and you're taking a picture of me. Oh, and each performer's taking a picture of another performer. Or, or maybe they're doing so. I mean, I'm, I'm eating. It's difficult to yeah. move and take yeah. but, 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 but also, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to put them. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, that's my project for this year. So, but you can, so you can take some of you, you can take some of... It, it depends on the project. Like, yeah, are you specifically looking... To kind of say, okay, a uh, young Arab girl is is perceived to be this thing, but actually she can be all these other types of things. What 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 would you say that that was? Um, I would. It's more general than that. I I I I would like people to go away saying, well, yeah, I got that wrong. So what else have I got wrong? Right. Well, one way I thought of, if you want to incorporate the two, one way to think about it is like. You could have two narratives going on in the same dance, but the two narratives are just like a different vantage points. So if you're looking at the dance from front on, you're assuming like, oh, it's exactly what the ad is doing. It's like you're assuming, oh, this is happening. But then maybe if you're looking at it from the back or from um, above, there might be like something on the dancer's head, the floor might have something else, and you're telling an entirely different story. Absolutely, it has, and it needs to work like that. The ideas we were playing with with the last group is the um, guy in a hoodie mm -hmm. from the back, crump, 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 mm -hmm. crump, 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 looks twitchy, looks well dodgy, we're going to stay away from him, he looks mad, he's playing the computer game. Mm -hmm. And it's that, that, it's that uh, kind of thing. Uh -huh. And so another dancer would be shooting him playing the computer game. Mm -hmm. um, so that kind mm. of thing. So the audience knows that they can see the person taking photos, or is that something that needs to be done in disguise? So it's like this new perception just mm. arises, or you know that that's. I think I'd like to be both, depending because we've got different dancers. So mm. maybe one could be obvious, one could be less obvious. And I think it's important that the audience knows that the photo is being taken. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't need to know that everybody's taking them. They can that can slightly dawn on them. So that that's a nice, mm. nice photo part. part. I'm not a very I, I'm not very da dance literate with my terminology. But you you, you talked about what was the term? Photo choreography. Photo choreography. Now is that a, a still photo form or is that a uh, video photo? I don't actually think it matters, but pragmatically, for, the, for your project, for my project, it's cheaper, and the technology exists for photo for still photos. Um, so that's and also it's easier to do a choreography where you shoot a person in a moment of time um, to display the different story and to keep the person. Again, if you're doing the, the, mm -hmm. the thing, yeah. if you can shoot him once and he's playing his game and smiling. Mm -hmm. If you have to shoot him all the time then it's much more difficult to maintain the different stories from the back and to the front. And as someone who's experienced this, the person who, who's experiencing this project, I remember you saying about perhaps a cafe or a shop or, or something like that. In terms of like the perspective, can I, is there one perspective or that's split, uh, as it were, so I, I'm sat here and I can see you from here and behind you I can see um, the projected image of, of the other side or is it, do I experience it twice from two different angles or, or do I see it uh, one first and one the other, does it matter which way around it, does, I assume it does, probably does um, matter. I don't know if it matters because the idea is that people slowly realise something's happening rather than see it straight away so I wouldn't want the projection to be directly behind the dancers because then it's quite obviously the projection. Maybe the projection's on the wall, maybe the pro projection's over there and the dancers are over there, or maybe the dancers are one there, one there, and one there, and they're slowly coming together and projections. It, 
Right, right. Yes, so and the projection of the images sees the other story. Narrative or character. So, you know, if you've got this person who's doing this game, I don't know why he would suddenly take a picture of himself. He wouldn't, but he might take a picture of the other dog. Why, though? He's doing this game. Oh, oh, just, yeah, just because no. the, other, the other way that you could do it would just be to have cameras set up, you know, and have it as a... Uh, just to let you know, in five minutes we will close and then lunch will be set up or we have breakfast. Okay, okay. Um, so that's where I've come from. It's not, in terms of the intent, you're both completely right, but I want mm. to do this as a photo choreography. Yeah, photography. Yeah. I, I, I would just, I just kind of see it as a separate role, the sort of. It's just another prop. Photographer mm. person. It's just another prop. It's just like, I mean, like, so the guy doing the game, he's actually holding a camera. He might, he might be playing on his, his phone, but that phone is a camera. Yeah. All he needs to do is do this and click, and the, the photos take... I'm like, there are all kinds of ways you can integrate it. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I was just... So, I was just yeah. Yeah. To show it. To show it separately. I suppose... Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, and if you wanted to do that, yes, but it, that for me is not a photography. That is, again, that is very, very clever set with dancers, rather yeah. than the two together. Okay. I suppose the piece, as well as um, challenging people's perceptions, will also be opening people up to this art form. Oh, that's a good one. That might not necessarily have seen it before. Yeah. Um, so then, maybe within, I can't remember which one, the inner or the outer story, one of those stories is showing off that skill and challenging it and all the different, you can as a way to, you say you're not sure about the, the choreography or all those stories, as a way into it maybe you can look at challenging that art form and all the different things you can do. I think that's a lovely idea because with it. Because I really think this is the first time this has been done, so we are we're challenging, we're, 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 we're encouraging the genesis of a new, of mm. a new mashup. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so it's about embracing that that mashup and seeing what you can do with it as well as then you've got this secondary storyline of what the actual content is that you're shooting which is these stereotypical characters or, or people um, and then you've then you've got the setting on top of that I think that's brilliant and it makes it much easier to get publicity yeah <laughs> <laughs> a good selling point I guess